glad to be here affects my attitude in the way that it centers me. If I find myself getting off track or if I find myself even celebrating a little too much on my own personal victory, uh, it brings me back to the center of what are we doing this for? It's just a piece of the puzzle and it's great to have your own victories, but it really helps you keep the big picture in mind and that uh, it is a team effort and it's not just an individual goal. When your alarm goes off in the morning and you get up out of bed, you're excited to go to work. You're excited to see what the day's going to bring. To actually have a goal to just want to come to work and be happy is something that is, is something that I think I've achieved. Success is a team effort, um, so I don't want to let my team members down. So I pick myself up and I forge forward. Glad to be here. Just it's kind of like a reminder you can tell yourself um, there are a lot of places to go and a lot of things to do, but finding that one spot or that one company full of people that you can work alongside of, employees that I work with are there for me to lean on and together we can pretty much do anything. Glad to be here is not just a feeling of gratitude, it's a feeling of being valued. Glad to be here is my new adopted saying. Um, I use it for everything and it means that no matter what you do, no matter what challenges you face, you should always have a positive attitude and be grateful for what you do have. People recognize what I've been doing over the last year um, and being brought to focus, you know, picking up when other people have fallen. It was, it was very exciting and, and a huge honor for me. It makes me realize that even when things are difficult, when we're, we're dealing with a difficult client or a difficult situation, um, one, it could be a lot worse, but two as well, um, that there's a lot to be thankful for. Um, I think even just a simple phrase of I'm glad to have air in my lungs uh, seems to resonate a lot. Even when it's hard, um, there's a lot that we can be thankful for. And I think that's, to me, um, how it shapes my attitude, because I think even in those difficult situations, then I come out still feeling and, and having a positive um, attitude. It reminds me that I can choose. I can choose to have a negative attitude. I can focus on well, this customer's product didn't show up on time, or this person's not returning my phone calls. Um, or I can choose to have a positive attitude, and I can keep fighting. So how does glad to be here affect my attitude? It, it reminds me that my attitude is a choice. I can go one of two ways, and it's up to me. My circumstances shouldn't uh, determine what my attitude is. Glad to be here makes you realize that you're one piece of the puzzle. Everybody's role is important, so you need to work together to put that puzzle together.